8.56, where's the time go? Mm. Excuse me, this is my first cup of tea of the day. Mm. Um, actually, it's probably my third, first cup of tea of the evening, I meant. All right, so look, in this, if you're a septic tank owner, if you own a sewage treatment plant, if you've got a cesspit, whatever you want to call it, then this live broadcast is very, very uh, important. It's going to really, really help you because I want to show you how this piece of paper, which doesn't look much, right, can save you thousands and thousands of pounds and completely um, take all the stress, all the anxiety, all the worry away from you if you're worried and you're concerned about all the changes that are coming into force regarding the septic tank ban or the general binding rules as they call it that come into force on the 1st of Jan 2020. Mm. So I'm going to show you two areas in which this innocuous bit of paper can really really help you. Now this bit of paper, yeah, sorry about that. Everything's like back to front because I'm recording on the camera here. It's like everything's mirror image. So look, I'm going to show you how this bit of paper will, if you're coming to sell your house, if you're um, worried about getting fined, bringing your septic tank and sewage treatment plant up to scratch, making them the compliant, then this is worth its weight in gold. It, although it doesn't weigh very much. What I mean by that is priceless, right? Priceless, right? So what are we talking about? How can that bit of paper help you? All right. Well, as you probably know or don't know, on the 1st of Jan 2020, um, do you know what? That's one thing about live broadcasts. You know, they're not stage managed and... Uh, and it's late and I'm tired, but I'm going to try that again. On the 1st of Jan, 2020, right, the UK government are bringing in a whole new list of rules and regulations. And these new rules and regulations are going to transform the way people maintain and look after their septic tanks forever. Mm. If you're wondering what's in my cup, it's a tea bag. I call it a builder's tea. You can't build, uh, can't beat a builder's tea. All right. So on the first of Jan, all these new rules and regulations coming into force. The proper name for them is called the General Binding Rules. All right. That's the government's term for it because their rules that are binding, all right? Once they come into force, you can't do anything about it unless you're in government and you can overturn <laughs> policies or something like that, right? They call the general binding rules, or if we want to use a layman's expression, it's called the septic tank ban. Now, understandably, People don't like this expression here, septic tank ban. It upsets them. It makes people frustrated. It makes them angry. And um, <clears throat> lots of people are in denial when they hear that term. Now, I don't mean to be derogatory or rude saying that. I suppose what with all everything going on with Brexit and all the rules and regulations about this and that and everything else, I suppose, and I'm guessing here, in people's minds, this is another thing for people to deal with, right? Because what is going to happen on the 1st of Jan 2020, these new rules that come into force literally means that if you don't comply with them, if your septic tank doesn't conform to them, then they can literally decommission your septic tank. They can ban you from using it, you know, they'll put an order on it and they'll decommission it. So basically, what are some of these rules? Well, 
Let me just tell you some of the new rules and regulations. All right, so let me tell you about some of these new rules and regulations. All right, so you have to state what system you have. All right, after the 1st of Jan 2020, you must declare all right, to um, the UK government what system you have. So, in fact, if I, t if I state, although state is the right word, you've got to um, record. If I put record, because you've got to make a record of it. So you've got to record what system you have, the capacity. Capa capacity. It's very hard to write. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, talk at the same time, especially when it's like nine o'clock at night. Okay, so you've got to record what system you have, the capacity of that system, um, how often you get it emptied, um, how you maintain it how you maintain it um, you've got a state um, if you've ever had it repaired you've got to state how long you've owned it so for example you may have just recently bought the house so you may have just owned it i don't know a week you may have had it a year you may have owned it 50 years okay so what system you got capacity how often you get it emptied how you maintain it oh yeah what service contract what 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 servicing you do on it what service contract You have, so what I mean by that is, do you pay someone, um, if you've got a, a sewage treatment plant, especially you may pay someone every year to come around and have a look at it and clean it out, um, check the motors, check the electric, stuff like that, how you maintain it. Um, and let me think, there's one more. Oh, yes. Um, oh, yeah. The condition of it. Okay, so there's, there's, there is more than that, but these are primarily the, the main um, issues that they want to address here. Oh, yes. And this is probably the most important. Uh, does it pollute? Does it um, discharge into... A water course all right so they may so those are basically some of the rules and regulations that the government are trying to identify try and find out all right so let's start with the first one all right so let's go with this in a, into a bit more depth with you so what system you have well you might have um, a septic tank you might have a sewage a treatment plant all right so you might have a sewage treatment plant may have a septic tank could even be might even have a cesspool there you go all right the capacity of it so um if you don't know the capacity of it one of the best ways to get to know the capacity is to check your septic tank emptying record so it could be um Typically, there'll be like four and a half thousand liters, which is, um, I think it's about a thousand gallons, or maybe it's like 9,000 liters. So if you check your septic tank emptying records, it will tell you the capacity of your tank. 
if he's not sure, then next time you get it emptied, get him to suck the whole lot out and tell you the uh, the literage or the or gallons, whatever he's working in. How often do you get it emptied? This, all right, this is the stuff you have to tell the government to get it done once or, or twice a year. Do you do it only once every five years? Once every 10 years, right? This is the kind of stuff they want to know. How do you maintain it? Do you get it rotted? You get it jetted? Have you ever had it repaired? So have you ever had your soak away repaired? Have you had rendering done? If it's an old brick or concrete septic tank, have you done any rendering, any cementing, any repair work, replaced any bricks? Have you put a new lid? So there's tons of stuff like new, new lid, new soak away, etc. So how long have you owned it? Have you owned it a week? Have you owned it a year? Have you had it 50 years? So you'd put the time there. What service contract do you have? Do you have, um, uh, as I said, someone who comes around once a year? If you've bought a new sewage treatment plant, for example, or you've inherited one, you'll find in the small print it says that if you don't have it maintained by an approved service contractor, then it'll null and void the warranty. So these are things that you have to kind of, you know, dig around and search for. And if you don't have it serviced, then just say yes or no. So yes or no. And by whom? Okay. The condition of it. <clears throat> so is there any symptoms? Is it leaking? Uh, what's the condition of the manhole cover? All right, condition of it. So manhole cover. Okay, um, it, it, does it seem to be leaking? Does it smell? Okay. Are the toilets flushing properly? Um, when you've had it emptied, you can take the lid off, the manual timber, and, and, and shine a torch in there, have a look. Does it seem full up with fat and grease and sludge? And does it discharge into a water course? Yes or no? So there's more stuff than that that is required, but typically that is the rules and regulations that they're trying to ascertain, that they're trying to find out from septic tank, se septic tank owners and sewage. treatment plant owners, okay? So that's basically an overview of all the rules and regulations that septic tank owners, sewage treatment plant owners, cesspit owners have, will have to deal with on the 1st of Jan 2020, whether you like it or not. Okay, so let me take you to another level now. So. How are you going to remember all that stuff that I've just shared with you? Well, this is where this magical bit of paper comes in, this government compliance form. I'm going to show you all about that in a minute. In uh, section H, of building wrecks the government have uh, created a template that looks something like that oh. it's not as badly drawn as that i can assure you right it's a lot straighter the lines are a lot straighter than that but uh let me just try that once more. <laughs> right, okay. I think that's a bit better, but 
it isn't great, but I, I'm, you'll get the point, right? So in the building regs, right, they do a template. They've made a template, and it's got lots of wording in. All right, so this is what it looks like roughly. And you'll see where I'm going with this. I'm purposely doing some stuff here. Okay, so the template looks something like that. And in here, what they've done, they've left certain bits of this template blank. All right, and you have to fill in those blanks with what system you've got, as I said, the literage of it, how you maintain it, how often you get it emptied, how long you've had the system, etc., etc., etc. All right, and this form is called, yes, you're getting there, right? It's called a government, government compliance form. All right. Now, normally you have to go through all go through all the building regs and do all that and print this off and blah, 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 blah. right. Okay, and and it's a lot of hassle. In fact, I, I I would dare to say that probably right. And this is true. Ninety nine percent of septic tank owners and sewage treatment plant owners have not got a clue that this exists. This form. Okay. I haven't got a clue it exists. So this is why I'm doing this free video for you, to help you, right? Because, this is where we get to it now, this form is something that I have created directly from Section 8 to the building ranks. And this government compliance form is something that I have made from the government website. Oh, there you go, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's just like mirrored, so everything's like normal is the other way. All right, so this government form is basically exactly the same template that I've just shown you, right, from the government website. And you can download this form, right? And you download this. So so if you go to if you go to septictank.co.uk, I normally charged, I normally used to charge three to four hundred pound for this service people would come to me and say jason can you get me a government compliance form can you fill it out for me and i'd say yeah it's a service it's 300 quid they say yeah no problem but today well starting yesterday i'm actually giving it away for free all right so all you need to do is go to septictank.co.uk on the top left hand uh, of the side of the corner there it says septic tank ban if you click that, it'll take you to my page, all right? It'll take you to a page, and on that page, it explains in a little bit more detail what I've been talking about in this live broadcast, but at the bottom of the page that I've made there, let's just pretend this is my web page, but uh, my web page looks a lot better than this. So it speaks about the, um, the septic tank ban, all right, here, something like that, compliance form, just showing you what the page looks like, okay? Uh, compliance form. I think there's a little video there you can watch, right? Little video there. It's got some writing there. I think there's another picture there, some writing. And this is the bit at the bottom of the page, you know, there's a form, right? And if you put your name and your email address into that form there then automatically i don't want a penny off you there's no catch there's no con you know then you can download as many copies as you want of this form once you've done that once you've downloaded it print it out print it out so you've actually got a copy of this form then okay so then print it out and then get your pen I'm just showing you know you know how to use a pen bit three and then just fill in the bits pertinent to you then once you've done that 
put one in display on display in your kitchen I don't know, stick it to the stick it to the wall like that with some blue tack something like that or your utility room and give one to your solicitor so when the government officials come round after that date they'll say hello mr so-and-so um how you doing um we believe you're on a septic tank um are you and you'll say yes do you have any documentation relating to your septic tank and then you go Bana! you show them your government compliance form it's as simple as that and then they'll get it and then they'll look i say okay mr such and such yeah okay okay so you've got that kind of system all right oh okay you've had it that long and um okay so you've had that maintenance done to it you got the receipts for that okay that's good okay so you you get it emptied this often all right so you've maintained it twice a year wow okay that's brilliant that's really really good okay so they'll say can i take a copy of this and uh yeah you go yes then they'll get the phone they'll put the camera on and they go click and take a picture of it and then they'll go thank you very much and that's it so that will save you a lot of hassle now let me show you why you lodge one with your solicitor let me just find my pen here all right now this is where the second stage of where it will really help you okay so let's say this is your house okay let's say this is your house okay let's say that's your house and there's some smoke coming from there from your lovely coal fire that you've got there okay and your house is for sale so whether you've lived there a year whether you've lived there 50 years it doesn't really matter the point that does matter is that in your garden here you've got a septic tank <clears throat> now okay so that's the pipe leading from your house into the septic tank okay now the people buying your house may never have heard of a septic tank before but i've got a clue what it is they don't know what it costs to empty it every year. They don't know what it costs to maintain it. They don't know what they cost to buy. They don't even know what it is, right? Maybe they do. But let's just suppose they didn't for a second. The solicitor will go to them and they'll say, the house that you're buying has got a septic tank. And they'll say, what? A septic tank. Okay. And the solicitor will say, explain, well, in the town, many people are connected to the main drainage. This property is not connected to the main drainage, it's connected to a septic tank. Okay. And the next stage from there, they will want to know is what state the septic tank is in. Is it in good condition? Is it in bad condition? Let's pretend you didn't have a government compliance form. <clears throat> Let's pretend the people buying a house know what a septic tank is. Let's say they don't know, it doesn't matter. The solicitor will come to you and he'll say can you prove can you tell us a bit about your septic tank and you'll say yeah i get empty once twice twice a year um it's never given me any problems it's been in there for 40 years that's what most people say they'll say can you give us some proof of that and the people will say okay um and they'll dig out some receipts some old tatty receipts or invoices of the septic tank thing and they'll say there you go look we emptied it two years ago and they're like okay that just shows that someone sucks some liquid out and what happens is this they'll go back to the peak client buying your property and they'll say look no one knows what state or condition the septic tank is in um i would personally opt to put a new system in and um get some quotes and we'll reduce the price of the house that they're asking by the what it costs to get a new system installed all right and so you'll find that the quotes that you'll get or they'll get to put a new system in will range anywhere from seven thousand and i'm not kidding you now to sixteen thousand pounds it's horrendous and more plus 
depends how big your house is. If it's double the size of that, you can start doubling the price of that. Okay. And so to knock 16,000 quid or 30,000 in some cases off the price of your house is just nuts. And it'll blow your mind. <clears throat> and you you may hold out and say, stuff it. I ain't, I ain't knocking my price of my house down by 7,000 quid and go to hell, you know? And that's the, the, that's the normal reaction of some people. But you'll find the next people that come along to buy your house will hit the same thing. Their solicitor will say, what tank have you got? What, what, what conditions your septic tank in? And you're starting all over again. All right, you found all your septic tank em emptying receipts and invoices. Fine. And it'll go again. Well, they just show us that you had it emptied. Um, I had it jetted a couple of years ago. Okay, so someone blasted some water in there. So what? And this is how it goes, right? Because no one knows anything about septic tanks except the people who install them. And it, it went that. But this is where the magic bullet comes in. This is where, by having this form, right, will change everything. <clears throat> All right, so let's rewind now. I'm going to rewind and give you a second scenario. You're selling your house. The people buying your house have got no clue about what a septic tank is. Maybe they have got a clue, but it'll still play out the same. <clears throat> what condition is your septic tank or your sewage treatment plant in? Hold on a second, just give me a second. You go to your utility room or you contact your solicitor. Bada! Government compliance form. Okay, so this is the government compliance form as required by the government. All right, so the people that you, who, who you're looking to buy the house off, they've got a septic tank. They've had it for 10 years. They've got it emptied. Paid quite a lot of money actually to get it empty. They've emptied it twice a year. They've had it serviced by ABC drainage. Um, it's in a very good state of repair. In fact, um, there was um, the manhole cover came loose about a year ago, but they had a professional firm in and they did an inspection while they were there and everything was tickety boo. Okay, so very, very good. And the solicitor will take a copy of that, hand that back, and there you go. So, the government compliance form, right? So how much are these forms? They're free. There's no con, there's no catch. I've been doing this for 20 years, and as I said, I normally charge 300 quid for this form because a lot of work's gone into it. And um, I've had to learn all the legalities and stuff like that, what they want, what they don't want. So I've tailor made this for septic tank owners and sewage treatment plant owners. All you need to do <clears throat> is fill in the blanks. Job done. And that is it. So the form is free. All you've got to do is do a little bit of typing. Yeah. It's as simple as that. To get your government, government, to get your free I'm going to put free there. Look, free government compliance form to get your free government compliance forms. You can download as many copies as you want. All you need to do is go to www.septictank.co.uk. And you'll see on the site in the top left hand corner there, it says a septic tank ban, how to beat it. Click that and you can download as many free forms as you want. Download them, print them off. And they need two or three, but print it off, fill in the blanks, put one in the utility room or the kitchen, right? Safe or in your safe. Give one to your solicitor, job done, right? You've made your septic tank compliant. And not only that, when you come to sell your property, it will save you thousands 
I don't want a penny of you, okay? There's no catch, there's no con. I'm just trying to help people with the months leading up to the general binding rules or um, the septic tank ban, as they call it. So there you go, it's as simple as that. This little form will save you thousands and thousands of pounds, right? And uh, that's it. So that's what the broadcast is about today. So if you're a septic tank owner or you've got a sewage treatment plant, then please, 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 if you want to beat the septic tank ban, make your uh, sewage treatment plant fully legal before 1st of Jan 2020 and go to septic tank. Okay, you can. Top left hand side there, how to beat. You'll see it, how to beat septic tank bank. Click that, it will then take you to the government compliance form page and download as many copies as you want. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching the live broadcast. And I hope this has really helped you. And um, right, I'm gonna go and have another cup of tea now and chill out until tomorrow. But listen, thanks a lot for watching this. And you take care.